When John and I started this world travel adventure, one of our biggest goals was to make new friends. And we've made a lot of new friends on this trip, but what we didn't anticipate was meeting people online, such as other content creators. Yes, and one such couple that we've met is Debbie and Stain from Two Creative Travelers. They are just like us. They sold everything to go travel the world, but a funny little <laughs> thing happened when they went through Italy. They found their forever home and they decided to change the name of their channel to Our Italian Destiny, where they're gonna talk about expat living and Italian countryside living. That's right, and as we were passing through Italy, they invited us down to their villa for a few days, and it took us about a hot second to say yes. <laughs> so they're gonna be joining us on our weekly vlog. Yes, and we also sat down with them on their channel and did a Q&A. So we will leave the link below, and you can hop over there after this video and check that out. We're John and Bev, and we are the Retirement Travelers. So we're off to Umbria. It's about an hour and a half train ride south of Florence. Debbie and Stay, here we come. Here comes the sunshine, here comes the daylight. Here comes the sunshine, here comes the blue skies. I love the sunshine, I love the blue skies. And when the night comes, the stars will be shining bright. Do you think we're meeting lifelong friends? Absolutely. <laughs> Me too. We already know what they're like because we've watched their videos. We even know what their house looks like. All right, they're here. <laughs> Hi! Hi! How are you? Oh, oh, it's good to meet you. How are you too? Hi. Uh, Hi. Hi. Good to Hi. meet you. This is exciting. Yeah. Oh, we're so excited. I'm like tearing up. I'm such a crier. Are you? <laughs> I am. You can probably recognize us from our shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like her than they are. <laughs> they greeted us at the train station where we became fast friends. And then they took us to a delicious lunch. Never felt love like this. I'm up so high. Feelings might be playing tricks. Like birds in the sky. Some ravioli. Holy cow. Prego. Yum. I ordered everything that's like a first course that wasn't a soup. So they had seven options, two were soups. I said, I'll just do the other five. Yeah, no. And everybody can try everything. a little bit of everything. So I'm learning how to say risotto, because I say risotto. And she's like, Debbie, risotto. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start with the truffles. Yeah. Right. You're gonna love them, I promise. Everything was good. Everything was good. <laughs> Everything and stuff. I'm now a truffler. But they're gonna push dessert on us, I'm oh, pretty I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure they will, yeah. We can handle it. Yes, we got dessert in mind, but it won't be here. Making Mondays into fun days, catching feelings like the sun rays, falling easy like a sweet dream. So after that delicious lunch, we dropped our things off at their villa and they took us out for dessert. Gelato. Yes, gelato. Very good gelato. <laughs> Ciao, Debbie. Ciao, Ciao. You want to taste that? You need to I'll taste, taste it. it. Yeah, taste I want to taste this one. Mm. I think I know. I'll take that too. Well, you have to taste this one too. Uh, mm. Do you like caramel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to taste this one. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Oh, oh that's good. Is that lovely? <laughs> that's the best. Uh, Okay, I'll have a scoop of that and a scoop of the caramel. Medium-ish. Was our small? Are we? Hello? Go medium. Bro. Okay, medium. I'll go medium. Yeah, I mean, I'm mean, gonna I take one for the team. Going of small on gelato is wrong. Okay. Zupa. What is zupa? Zupa. They have it in restaurants here as well. Okay, throw some of that on there. Is this where my spoon goes? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> that That's where the tips go. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Whoops. the sound of coins. That's not good. Right. <laughs> I'm sure I'm dirty like coins are still good. Is that not beautiful? Like candy. It's a huge 
On top of the gelato store. Yeah. <laughs> the gelato must be sent from the heavens. <laughs> it is. I think so. It was sent from the heavens. The problem is I ate way too much and I had a debt to pay, so Stain and I went out for a run the next morning. So yeah. what are you, how long have you lived here, Stain? Um, we bought this house in October 21, so we've been here now eight months or so. And uh, obviously we love it. We're still discovering all these little beautiful roads. So I uh, hope you like this for a little run. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's kind of cool today. In the morning, it's going to get hot this afternoon. Yeah, exactly. We need to get this in early. Hope we see some wildlife. We see a lot of deer around here. Wild boar. Let's run to the rest of our Gorgeous. The stain, where are we at? We're in another like typical Umbrian hilltop settlement village called Geisha. Geisha. Yep. And uh, yeah, there's a couple residences here, apartments, chapel. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's I think he's I think he's trying to get us to buy a condo here. <laughs> it's <Yep. laughs> maybe I'll go into real estate. Who knows? It's certainly gorgeous. Who oh, would love this? Stain has been a fantastic run today. Thanks for showing me your area. Oh, you're welcome. It's great to discover these old towns as we go for a run or a bike or something like this. Good one! Uh, oh, run! Good run! Thank you. So this is a tree and the fruit from this tree. You can eat. Wow. Let's see if you can figure out what it is. These aren't caterpillars, are they? <laughs> well, have you never had caterpillars? You like eat the gesso. Eat the gesso? Gesso. Oh, you also. eat. No Let's problem. See, see. Bye, friend. Thank you, John. Uh, so this guy says it's mulberry. It's mulberry. Yeah, and I heard mulberry is so really good. Okay. So I'm gonna eat this thing that looks like a caterpillar, <laughs> but he tells me it's mulberry. So I'll try it as well. It's sweet. It's really very good. Yeah. What does it taste like? Kind of maybe a little bit of blueberry, but it's. That's right. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, when I was talking to somebody else about this, they said it was like a wild blueberry, so you're on that's it. The, uh, that's the fun of running in a new place. You get to just run along and you see a tree and boom, yep. you get to eat it. Right, no need to bring snacks. No. Well, there's a lot, so you want some more? Uh, sure, we need to take some back to the girls too. Absolutely. It's a little town called Gripolischietto. There's maybe 20 residents here or something, but it's really cute. It's like this old establishment at the top of the, top of the hill, great views all the way around. It is beautiful this here. Is great. <laughs> See if we get kicked out. How old is this? Hundreds of years. And there's the only resident of the whole place right yeah, there. Right. Oh, the kitty cat. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, I like this place. In the 1970s, a famous designer bought this entire village, actually, and worked with an architect to rebuild many of the buildings that are around here. Um, and that's what we're looking at today. So it's still a private residence right now. Uh, it's considered to be the castle of Grepolischietto. But, uh, but yeah, they beautifully redid it and 
have sold some of the properties is actually one for sale, so you never know. How much do you think it's going for? It's going for 115. That's all? Yeah. You could live here in for $115,000? Right. Don't get any ideas. I'm not. We're on a, we're on a world travel yeah. adventure. No, no worries. Not not today, but not maybe today. tomorrow. One of, these, one of these days, maybe. One of these days, we'll want to settle down, but just not now. It's called Saltimboca. Hello. This is your table, please. So whenever you see something that's C-I, you make the C-H pronunciation. When you see something that's C-H, you make the K pronunciation. C-I is C-H and C-H is K. So it's, it's actually pistachio, it's not pistachio. Yeah, it's pistachio. pistachio. Today, you have to order again for us. You did such a good job ordering for us last night. Si, un antepasto del nocchetti. Papardelle, spadella, tagliata, rosmarino. E allora è possibile mettere tutte le piatti al centro del tavolo e così possiamo. Mm. Prego. Grazie. That's delicious. Pici carbonara di mare, sono sostini, scusa. Sono mondiale. Col parmigiano. Very rare. Perfetto. Buona passeggiata. Grazie. Grazie. Oh. Cingale, veal, pici with seafood and uh, I don't know what kind of pasta that is, but with tartufa. So that wasn't the only great food we had. We had great food at every meal. It was probably the best food we've had on our trip. Yes, fantastic uh, food and also fantastic views. The Umbrian countryside is amazing. Uh, it's a region in central Italy adjacent to Tuscany and it is worth visiting. Get away across an ocean with you Speak another language for a weekend or two Somewhere we've never been, nothing better to do eh, 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 eh. The Glass Museum in Pieg Piegro? Piegaro. Piegaro. We are at the Glass Museum of Piegaro, and these bottles here actually inspired the song The Green Green Glass of Home. True story. We want to stay forever. Yeah, I can't believe it's been three days already, but you know, time flies when you're having fun. Right? That's, right. That's right. When we had a great time. It's the first of many adventures together. Yes, right? yes of it's course. The start of a long friendship here. Yeah. We had a great time, and uh, we will be back. Yes. We'll be waiting for you. We'll be waiting kick. for you. Yay! <laughs> be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.